Okay, we're gonna start by making hot air balloons. We're gonna make three to start. We're gonna make a large, a medium, and a small size. So the first thing I want you to try to do, first thing I want you to do is take your paper. There's your paper has marks on it that I put. Um, the mark that's closest to the top, there should, should say top at it. It's some of them do, some of them don't. Um, I want you to turn your paper over and I want you to write your name so I know whose it is. I also want you to take your pencil and as light as you possibly can and still be able to see it, I want you to write your name again. And then I want you to take your eraser and I want you to erase your name the second time you wrote your name so that you can try to learn to write lightly. You're gonna write light when you start a project because you never know if you're gonna need to erase. And when you write heavy, you can't see your images when you erase. So first thing before we start is I'm just gonna do an example. Hot air balloon could be round. It could be oval. It could be larger at the top and come in at a point down here, like come narrower at the bottom. So I want you to think about that. Um, you're gonna start with the largest one. So you're gonna start your pencil up at the top of that line somewhere. Doesn't have to be on it, doesn't have to be exact. And you're gonna make that balloon about to the size of the bottom line. So that's gonna be my first balloon. We're gonna make all of our first balloons the same. I want you to, we're going to show it curve around, how a balloon curves around. Instead of making it flat, which would be straight lines, we're gonna start by making our first line in the center, going straight down, okay? Then, slowly, as we go around the balloon, the line, the contour line of the balloon is gonna curve, just like we did did contour lines of our um, of those candies, we're going to start showing the contour. So the first line's gonna be slightly curved, and then it's gonna slightly curve a little bit more, and it's gonna slightly curve a little bit more. And you wanna do it about mm, four to six times. We'll give you a good, um, shape to your balloon. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. There's my first balloon. Now I'm gonna put in my basket. So directly under my balloon is gonna be my basket. I'm gonna start with a C shape for the bottom then I'm gonna make the two sides, and then I'm gonna put in the basket part, okay? Oh, I need to attach the balloon to the basket. So this balloon, I'm going to have it attach from here to here. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. I'm gonna do the same thing here and here, and I think I'm gonna have might come across, whoops. So now, you again, you don't want, only in the center would it come straight across, you want it to be, follow this curve that you have. So up here, it's gonna curve just a little bit less than the very bottom. And then I'm gonna attach some more lines. So there's my first basket. I'm gonna do two more balloons and I'm going to create different designs in all my balloons. So I want you to watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to fast forward it and um, you're going to be able to do any type of design you want on your balloon. Um, I'm actually going to also do something here. I'm going to add like a little bottom part to this. Just for decoration. So there's like that part that's just kind of hanging off the bottom of the balloon. You don't have to do that. Um, okay, so we're gonna make some other balloons. I'm gonna show you how to make some designs within the balloons. 